what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the player house from the game Plants vs Zombies. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please do remember to hit that like button as it really helps me and the channel out very, very much. If you make it all the way to the end, please share the video with a friend because sharing is caring. And that is pretty much all I have to say. Why don't we get this thing started? Now, before we begin, ladies and gentlemen, here are all of the materials that we are going to be needing to make this house. And we will be needing a few more materials than this as well, but not too many. So please make sure that these are in your possession. Make sure that you have access to every single one of these, and then we can begin. So... The first thing we want to do when starting our house is place our terracotta on the ground. Extend that to the right by three. One, two, three. Then place a red terracotta next to that and extend upwards by two. One, two. Go right by two. One, two. Extend down by two. One, two. And if you like, by the way, you can even place a dark oak wood door behind the middle of that empty space, specifically just sat just behind like that. Continuing to go right of the red terracotta block on the ground, I want you to place five regular terracotta. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that. Extend that fifth terracotta backwards by nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You are then able to extend across the back of the build and connect to the front of the build. So the end result is such. We have this rectangular shape right here. I want you to come back to the front of the build and we want to begin on the front left hand corner initial terracotta that we placed. While well, going right of this, we're going to place two white concrete. Followed by a red terracotta with a black stained glass pane on top. Flip over to the opposite side where on the front right corner here, we're going to place two white concrete on top. Then three red terracotta going left. One, two, three. And I want you to place glass on top of all of that. I then want you to place two additional rows of white concrete on top of this row of two that we just placed. One, two, and extend all the way left and connect down as to give you this shape. This looks very bizarre at the moment, but we can solve this problem. Simply fill in the remaining area using white concrete. That's all you've got to do. Just like that. Nice and simple. The next thing that I'm going to ask you to do is place a layer of stone slabs coming across the top of the front of the house. Like this. I also want you to place a layer of brick stairs. The regular brick stairs on top of the white concrete. Then, looking at the house from the left, just like this, I want you to take this white concrete here, or you can even start behind the brick if you like this. Behind the brick, you can place a white concrete, okay? And then from there, I want you to follow this pattern. I want you to go left and up, left, up, left, up, and left, up. Like that. So, I want you to have something which should look like this. And I want you to place brick stairs on top of each one of those. So, we should be able to place one, two, three, four, with a brick slab on top. Like that. As simple as that. I want you to place brick stairs. Well, actually, we can't place them quite yet. Let me show you what you've got to do. You've got to take this white concrete block here, extend it towards you by just one block. That's all you've got to do. And then you want to go down, left, down, left, down, left, all the way down. So we have this. 
we're going to place brick stairs on the sides here, just like that. And you should find that you have the same amount of brick stairs on the front as you do indeed the back. This side of the house also has a window. The easiest way to find it is by taking this white concrete block right here and going left of it by three with the white concrete. One, two, three. Down by two. One, two. Left by two with the red terracotta. And then place two layers of glass on top. Just like that. Fill the remaining area in using white concrete, just like this. And we should be left with a nice clear side of the house. That's perfect. So, the back of the house, you want to add one, two, three, four rows of white concrete coming all the way across the back. Just like this, equaling the height of the front of the house. That's important. It all wants to be even, like that. You can connect it together on this right side as well, just like this. Connect all of those white concretes together. And we also want to copy the shape that we have over there as well with the white concrete. I know it looks a little bit weird, but hey, this, this is what we're doing. So you basically want to copy the shape, the pyramid of white concrete that you have all the way over there. It should be fairly easy to do considering the fact it's not too far away. And then you want to have the exact same design that you have on that side over this side. So that means all you've got to do is stack layers of brick stairs coming up to the top. You place a brick slab at the top as well. Brick stairs coming all the way down like this. Eventually you'll hit the bottom like that. And then you want to connect all of those bricks together. We're going to connect them together on the back and up at the top. Notice that there was a pause there. Reason being is the front of the house has a slight bit more detail. So we're only focusing on the back at the moment there. Whilst we are on this side of the house, the right side, I want you to place a white concrete right at the top coming out of the side of the roof. I want you to extend that one row towards you, extend both of those white concretes up by one, and then extend both of them all the way down to the ground. This is what we call a chimney. There we go. So from the side it looks like that. By the way, let's make the roof a bit fancier before we tackle the front. I want you to make sure that the roof overhangs the side of the house by one row. Very, very important. You want to have it overhang using brick stairs. And underneath, there's kind of like a colourful trim underneath the roof. So we're going to use some stone bricks underneath this. Even underneath the top to kind of like create that cool colour. There we go. So now we've got like a nice two-tone thing going on. And we want to do the same all the way over on this opposite side too. So we're just going to place some... There we go. We're just going to place some stone brick stairs coming all the way down. And we will also have the same upside down stone brick stairs underneath all of these overhanging... Uh, rows as well and uh, it's kind of tricky to place them in between the chimney but I'm sure that you guys will manage you're very resourceful we can also extend the stone slab that we have on the front of the build just to the right by one like that just so that overhangs do not do the same to the left side that is completely different okay so here's what we're going to do now on the front of the roof you will notice that we have completed the first row but not the second. The second row, I want you to place a brick stair. And above that, I want you to place a white concrete. I want you to extend that white concrete, number one, up one. And number two, I want you to extend it right by quickly counting five. One, two, three, four, five. Extend up. Add another row behind just to make sure that uh, it fills in with the roof. I want you to place black stained glass pane in the center of it, and I want you to place brick slabs on top of it. You'll only require two rows. It should be quite simple to do. Whoops, a daisy, there we go. Just two rows, like that. We're going to place brick stairs, like this, just in between all of that. Gonna place brick stairs. Gonna connect them together, left and right, all of that fun stuff. Boo, 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 destroy all that like this 
And we will end up with something that should look like that. Now that we're here, I kind of want to add some, what you might call, miscellaneous details to the house. Okay, so I'm, d I'm going to just dump everything at the moment. And I'm going to grab grey concrete, cobblestone wall. I'm going to grab item frames, and I'm going to grab a block of gold and iron bars. All of that. So, I want to place an item frame to the right of this door right here, with a block of gold in it, so it looks like a door handle. I want you to place a grey concrete left of these stone slabs, and I want you to place cobblestone wall coming up from the ground, just like this, from the ground all the way up. That's it. At the top of the build, there is an antenna, which uh, is situated somewhere around here. It's like towards the top, right? And it's probably about the second right, about here, I would say. Like, if you want to kind of like gauge where it is, like, it's probably one, two, three, four rows in at the top row of stone, uh, the top row of brick stairs. Extend up by two, one, two, and extend the middle towards you, right back left just like that and you'll have something which should look like this which is fantastic which is you know kind of cool and all that but we are missing quite a few things so now that we've added some miscellaneous details and that looks cool and all we're going to flip to the right side of the house where there is a garage so the garage we're going to need some white concrete we're going to need some spruce wood stairs i see that we're going to need uh the stone brick slabs for this we need the stone slabs we need a cobblestone wall we need stone brick stairs and i think that should be enough but we'll grab stuff as we need it okay so right of the house i simply want you to place a white concrete right of the front right corner of the house Extend the white concrete one row towards you, and up by two. One, two. Extend behind up as well. And I want you to place a row of four spruce wood stairs going right of the initial row of white. So like one, two, three, four. Add two more rows on top, like this. Place a row of white concrete right of those stairs. Extend it towards you like this. And then take a sideways view of what you've just made and extend the side of this backwards by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Connect back to the house and raise up all of the white concretes until they are as high as the rest of it, like that. What we're then going to do is put a little roof on this thing. So, I want you to begin by placing stone slabs coming across the front of the top of the garage, like that. I want the stone slabs to overhang by a row. Behind the stone slabs, place a, uh, a brick slab. And actually, you know what, we might actually, we're going to change uh, where these stone slabs are. We're going to place a layer of brick slabs directly on top of the garage like this. And then we're going to have the stone slabs come outwards like this, right? And we'll have the stone slabs and the brick slabs come back. And then we're going to extend the brick slabs backwards like this. We're going to go like back and up. Back, up, back, up, back, up. And then we're going to have them come down. We're going to go like right, down, right, down, right, down, right. And then we're just going to simply connect all the way to the right side like this. And we're going to fill the brick area in. Going left to right, we're going to connect to the house like this. We're going to connect both sides together, left and right. And that will be that. So just like that. That's looking good. I want to fill underneath the little roof in here with white concrete. Perfect. And we're going to place cobblestone wall here as well, just coming off the right side of the garage, just like this. And on the right side of the garage also, we are going to have a satellite dish. So you can place this coming, like, you can place a layer of cobblestone wall coming up, 
And then, I mean, it can even just come out of the top of the garage, like, if you like, if you don't want to destroy anything, or if you want it to look a little bit better, then it will come out the side of the top of the garage like this. It wants to probably come about two rows higher than the garage itself. And then you want to place, up, like, you want to place four stone brick stairs like this, all connecting together to form a circle at the top of the cobblestone wall. And then we're going to take the bottom left diagonal and we're going to take and we're going to place two cobblestone wall coming out. So that looks like a satellite dish, especially if you kind of like take a look at it from that angle. And that's a huge amount of detail done. Like this is a pretty cool house. It's pretty fun to make, honestly. I, I quite like making this house. It's nice. But what we also have to add, by the way, is we now have to start adding the path and like where the where we would be defending the garden and stuff so we're going to need some light gray concrete some lime terracotta some green terracotta we're going to need gray carpet we're going to need light gray carpet spruce fence oak trap door um red carpet and we're even going to need a little bit of gray concrete too and we'll need more stuff as well so starting off we're going to dig two rows in front of the house, just like directly in front of it, left and right. And we're going to place light grey concrete in there instead, like that. Dig back, and we want it to be placed directly in front of the door too. I'm going to place a light grey concrete, a light grey carpet in front of the door, extend towards me, grey carpet left and right. I want to dig two rows to the side of the house on the left going to place grey concrete in there as well and I'm going to have a row of light grey concrete that comes all the way back along the side of the house so we're just making a nice clear path coming along the side of the house and I'm also going to dig the light grey concrete into the ground where the garage is and stuff and this will only look like one row like just because we're extending it and I'll even have the light grey concrete come as far back as the side of the garage just like that well i want to take the area that is the width of the garage here and i'm just going to dig a few rows like one two three about three rows or so in front of the garage here just to kind of expand our path and i want it to be light gray concrete like this now here's the important part we want to do this in the corner here where the path connects together from the front of the house to the garage area, I want to dig two blocks by two blocks. And I'm going to make this patch of grass green terracotta. We're going to make squares, all right, guys? And I'm going to dig a two block by two block area going left. And lime terracotta's going in there. Two blocks by two blocks, green. Two by two, lime. Then two by two, green. Two by two, lime. Finally, two by two, green. Like that. So we have seven patches of green alternating. And we want to have three more rows of this in front. So that would probably require like one, two, three. And the thing about this is we want to alternate the patches. So we kind of want to have what you could refer to as a chessboard pattern, a checkersboard pattern, whatever you want to say, an alternating color pattern. So we have enough space that we can place in front of the green terracotta square, for instance, a lime terracotta. In front of that, a green terracotta square. In front of that, a lime. And you might be able to see how now this is going to pan out. So, we want to do this for all of these. Now, this is going to take a little time to do, and I've had to do this a lot, so I'm going to place all of the green terracotta areas first, because I find it to be a bit faster and a little less boring to place it that way, and then I'm just going to place lime terracotta everywhere else. And I'm sure that you guys can figure out the pattern. If there's some reason you have difficulty in fig figuring out the pattern, all you've got to do is just start from the front and al alternatively place the two different colours in a 2 by 2 square block areas, like that. 
Once you have managed to do the grass, we are going to extend the driveway so that it is as long as the grass that is simply just to the left of us. So the driveway wants to be about as long as the grass in length. And we also, once we have filled in the driveway, we want to take this front right corner block here. We're going to place a spruce fence on top of it, gray concrete on top, red carpet on top, oak trap door. And that is just like a, a mailbox letterbox. It's kind of hard to make them um, and have them look, you know, really good. So that's about as good as we can get. Okay, well, now that we have done that, we want to turn our attention to the sides of the house. This is both sides of the house. And by the way, we also need to add a little bit more detail. We're going to use flower pot and an oak sapling. We need jungle leaves for this as well. We need spruce uh, planks and we need spruce wood stairs. Okay, so coming out of the side of the house, we want to make a gate. If we start on the front left corner of the house, we want to find the not the first, not the second, but the third block, which is here. We want to place a 2x2 two two square of spruce planks coming out the side of the house with spruce wood stairs on top of these spruce planks back to back. Place two more spruce wood planks coming out in front of the house. Or actually, you know what, better yet, place, place them behind the gate like that because it will give a better effect to the gate. And then simply extend the spruce planks backwards and around the back of the house like that. So just have two rows, just like this. I want to place a row of jungle leaves coming across the left side of the garden. And on the right side, I'm also going to have an entire row of jungle leaves coming all the way back. And it's just going to snake around the side of the garage as well. So the end result should look very much like this. We also want to place a flower pot to the right of the entrance with an oak sapling inside of it. On the original, there's like a big pot of plant, but I, I didn't want to play, do like a big giant potted plant. On the original, so the only thing that we're missing, and I don't think I'm even going to add it, is there's an oak tree. So, like to the left here, all the way up above, but I think that that kind of ruins like the whole look of the house Because then it covers up a lot of it as like you're approaching it from the sides and stuff So whether or not you want to place an oak tree just to the left literally where that gate is you'd place a nice big oak tree That's completely up to you, but uh Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I mean that's the entire house complete. It's, it's a pretty cool house. I really like it I loved designing and making it. It's very different from a lot of the things that I usually make so it's very fun I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial as well. If you did, please do remember to hit that like button as it really helps me in the channel out very, very much. If you have made it all the way to here, please share the video with a friend. Make it to the end, share the video with a friend. That's the rule. It's not a hard and fast rule. Nothing's going to happen to you if you don't, but I just appreciate it very much. If you want to... Uh, if you want to check out anything else made by me, please check out the card system and the description below. That's the best place you can go for all of that from the stuff. Cartoon houses, video game houses, scary houses, creepy houses, movie houses. <laughs> all sorts of stuff. Card system, description below. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate all of you so, 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 so much. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.